Hi guys and girls and welcome back to How To Studio with Dr. Dave Tech. So today we're going to be talking about the NVIDIA game filters and how to set them up and make your games look absolutely amazing. As you can see here we are currently in Euro Truck. This is one of the games that is supported by the filters. Looking at the truck, the orange looks majorly washed out, the sky looks washed out, and that white trailer on the far side there actually has like a rivet band along the top of the trailer, but you can't see it because the colours are so blown out. And this is what Euro Truck looks like out of the box. So looking at the floor, the tarmac is actually meant to be a grey colour, but it is more of a whitey grey instead of that grey tarmac colour. So to turn on the colour filter, you're going to press and hold the left Alt key and then you're going to press the Z. And as you can see, the GeForce Experience overlay pops up and you're going to click this one right here that says Game Filter. When you click Game Filter, if it turns around and says there is not a supported game running or anything like that. That means that you're going to need to roll back your driver to the previous version. There are plenty of videos on the internet showing you how to do that. But if you do want me to upload a video to show you how to roll the driver back, leave a message in the comment box below. So this is with the filter off. I'm going to go to number two because I already have a filter set up for number one. So I'm going to go to number two and I'm going to start from scratch. So you're going to hit the plus icon here and you're going to add a color filter. So as you can see right now, the colors have immediately changed. But now we have a blue whitewash on the screen. So we're going to click the little arrow and we're going to change this by changing the tint intensity. We're going to turn that off and the tint color, we're also going to turn that one off. And then we're going to slowly slide up the vibrance. I mean, if you want the colors to be really, really popping, then turn it all the way up. I mean, you can turn it all the way off if you wanted to. But for me, I mean, I'm quite happy about 50%. It's not too much, but it is just enough to enhance the colours for me. And then we're going to click the arrow to make that drop down again. And we're going to hit the next filter, which is going to be the details filter. And as you can see, again, this filter is a little bit OTT. So I'm going to slide the HDR toning down and I'm going to turn the bloom completely off because this adds a whitewash onto your screen. So I'm going to turn that down. I'm going to turn the clarity all the way up and I'm going to play around with the sharpening just, you know, if you look in the background on the silo, which is up here, with the sharpening tool, it's currently all blurry, and then now the ladder and everything is in focus. So, again, that's the next filter. And then we're also going to add a brightness and contrast filter. Again, it will blow everything out to start with, so you tweak this how you want it to be tweaked. So you can add in your shadows and your highlights and so on and so forth. Your gamma again, if you turn the gamma too low, it will make your game look really bad. And if you turn it up, it will make your game look really bad. So you need to find a happy medium where the game is going to look best for you. So again, with the exposure, if you turn it up too much, it will look like this. And turn it down, it will almost make your game look black so for me as a streamer i like to have mine minus 12 and then you still need to tweak around with your highlights 
and so on and so forth until you are comfortable with where your settings are. So there we go. So we've now added the free filters in. So if we now click on free, which is no filter, and then click back to number two, which is the filter that I added, you can tell the night and day difference. So this is standard Euro truck colors, and this is with the filter on. This is my, my filter for when I'm recording videos and stuff like that. I like to have just that little bit more, but for somebody like yourselves that's an avid gamer or a streamer, your setting would be more like number two. So if we press Alt and Z and come out of the filter and we now have a look around, you can see that the colors are much nicer and the detail is also, again, a lot nicer on the game. So if we just go out to the street, I mean, the shadowed areas are actually shadowed. So if you see here, there's, there's trucks all parked up in this yard. That is a mod that will be getting showcased over on Panda Mod Studio shortly. That's, uh, and also so is the XT mod that we're currently driving right now. So if you are looking for Euro Truck mods, head over to Panda Mod Studio and go and give us a subscribe over there. We do all our mod reviews over there, and this is where we showcase all of our how-to videos. So if we just go and have a a drive about, I mean, just just look at the just look at the uh, the details in the trees and the traffic. The road actually looks like it's real tarmac instead of that washed-out, grainy, horrible-looking shite. So if we just park up on the curb here. And we then Alt Z again. Oh, it took us out took me out of the game, so bear with me. There we go. So if we Alt Z again and we go back to the game filter and we turn it off. This is Euro Truck basic colours. And as you can see, the front of the truck is going to be more shadowed because there is no light hitting it. The light is coming from behind the truck. So how Euro Truck think that this is a good look, I don't understand why they don't add a clarity filter, uh, a color filter. The only, the only filter slider that we actually have in Euro Truck right now is for the brightness and that's just not going to cut it. So like I said, this is my recording filter and then you've got the filter that we built for you guys and then we've got it turned off. So there is a bit of difference between obviously my recording filter and my gameplay filter versus the standard wishy-washy colors from Euro Truck itself. So what we're now going to do is we have the console enabled. So we're going to Alt-Z off of the overlay. And then we are going to go and turn this to night time. So it's just loading in and it will start to get a little bit brighter. There we go. So as you can see, with the filter turned on, the beacons are actually orange. If we Alt Z again and go to back to the filter and we turn the filter to free, which is no filter, or to off is exactly the same. Oh, we're dozing again. Right, 
So like I said, free has no filters and off. So off and three are exactly the same. And then we got number two, which, like I said, number one is my recording filter. Number two is my gameplay filter. So if we turn this off, look at the beacons. The beacons look like they are flashing yellow versus the color filter on, and they are actually flashing yellow. So if we press Alt Z to come out, I know you're tired, driver, but you're going to have to wait. And then we turn on our headlights. Just look at the detail around the map. So if we concentrate on looking over at the garage and we go back into the filter, we turn it off. Look how overexposed nighttime is in the game. This is how it would look. Oh, we're dozing. You know, these, like I said, these are my own personal filters that I've set up, and that is the stock filter. Well, the off filter. This is standard Euro truck colours. It's not very appealing. It doesn't make the game look very nice at all without the filters on now. For me, anyway. So, there we go, guys and girls. That is how to turn on the filters for your games the color filters for your games to make your games look a lot better than stock so thank you very much for watching how to studios with dr dave tech and we will see you all next time so bye for now